Hi there! You're watching the Gardens and Graveyards channel. Today we are in our backyard and we're going to tackle this Buddleia or otherwise known as a butterfly bush. And we have two in our garden. We're going to do both of them today. Um, this one is here and then just on the other side, directly across right there is the other one. And that one over there has a really dark purple panicle uh, bloom. And this one has a light colored, what? I feel like super light color, but just straight purple, not dark or light, I guess. <laughs> um, these were here when I, when we moved here, like I said, and I was concerned that they might be the invasive species, but we have never once had any pop up anywhere in our garden. Um, not even like close down around the roots or in our compost or anywhere. So whatever varieties they are, they're sterile, which is pretty cool because they didn't start. I didn't know that they had started making sterile, sterile ones, um, very long ago. So anyways, these are huge and they are what is considered a second story shrub. Uh, we cut them down just below my shoulder every year and they go a far above the roof line of our garage. Um, but we can see them great from our house. It's just right up close. You know, the blooms are way up high. <laughs> um, I'm going to flip this around and show you, but we can't cut down much further than that because the wood is so old and there's, there's nothing, um, there's no new growth growing out of that wood. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I call this one Sideshow Bob because it has like crazy growth habit that looks like clown hair. And the one, the dark purple one has a really straight uniform growth habit. So. Sideshow <laughs> hers. <laughs> yeah. And we cut these down in March every year. Um, and it works out great for us. They bloom like crazy. All right, so right now, what do you, they're like eight foot tall, seven foot tall. Yeah. 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 And then when you get down in here, I try to find the next strongest leaf. So like this one's really strong, so I could cut this branch all the way down here. But you could see this branch, this really old branch. We cut it off here. There's no new growth except right here. So I could cut this one down to here. So that's just kind of what we're looking at. And you can see how old and huge these, you know, the trunk, get behind the fence. Um, you can see how big the trunk of this thing is right here. So I don't want to go too deep into that uh, because I don't want to lose the the plant because it's old i don't know how long these things last so we're gonna baby it along and keep pruning on it until it just totally falls apart and doesn't do anything for us anymore and then we'll replace it with a newer variety because i enjoy having these blooms in the garden the only thing that we're going to be using as far as equipment today is possibly our long-handled lovers but I suspect only our everyday pruners.
So you could see that a lot of the base is rotting out, which is why I keep saying I'll just baby it along until it totally fails. I have no idea how old it is, but um, I don't want to leave the rot there because it promotes more fungus rot. and whatnot to grow. And so. More rot. That one will probably come out this fall. This one. This one's rocking. Okay, well. Yeah. Such as it is for now. Alright, let's go over to the amethyst one. Thank you. I'm not a very not hair. We'll grab some, we'll grab a bucket of oh, okay. soil and some fertilizer. Is that good soil or car? Yeah, or? I, th I, yeah I think so. Just Give it a fighting chance.
I could have put this down in. I'm just hanging it. This needs it too, on this side. Yeah. Oh, So we did end up tying the base up a little bit. It, the, I don't know if a, if a mole got underneath it or it just got too heavy or what the deal was, but it kind of was laying over and the roots were exposed. So added some soil and some fertilizer and tied it up to give it a fighting chance. Pruned it. You could see where all the little baby, <laughs> all the little baby leaves are. Uh, some of them are a little bit bigger, but that's about it. So it was around 12 feet tall and now it's around five and a half, six foot tall. So I cut about half off and then over here, this one was completely covering that window and now it's, you know, like four foot tall or so. It's all ready for spring. All right, that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it and um, got some inspiration. Get out there and cut down your butterfly bushes. Um, we took them down about by half and they look pretty good. There's, they're old, so we're just limping them along until they decide to completely fail on us. So we um, went ahead and fertilized them both. They're both ready for spring, and I can't wait to show you um, how much they grow in the season because it's always fun and exciting to see the before and after especially in a, in one growing season. In just a few months, these things will be taller than our garage. So thanks again for gardening with us, and we will see you in the next video. Bye.